Hello to all my friends here. Uh, now I would uh, like for describing about the how to organize the classroom. As a good teacher, so you, uh, we have to prepare all the materials and then include the classroom. And then it's because uh, one indicator that we can sign uh, the class managerial is good is depend on how we manage our classroom. So uh, the classroom can easily become a place of the chase and this disorder. And then you don't have to resign yourself to messy classroom. And then, however, a well-organized classroom arranged areas and seats or decorating the classroom. And based on what's the most effective, uh, for your students and set aside uh, a clear and create a system so here that you never lose uh, about this paper and then make sure to all the students in this classroom don't disrupt this carefully arranged room and then, however include them cleaning and organizing them uh, one of the most important here in learning and teaching process so we may creating a tidy space what does it mean and may we have a clear off the desk that the very first place you should start is depend on the desk a clean well organized desk sends an important message to students then clear off any items from your desk that you're not immediately using a design drawer for this item. If you always have many papers in your desk, put them in a filling cabinet or instead, because a student can construct they individually by uh, some project that all the students have different paper, different project based on the test. And then personal uh, personal writing tools, okay? And the other supplies not being uh, used by students, by students should be put in the drawer and then use a small divider the storage boxes and uh, store this in each drawer. And then uh, if the student leave the paper, put above and collect all the paper and level in your mailbox if it is not in pandemic but uh, based on pandemic so we can use a uh, lms or learning management system and then the second uh, move the student desk based on the what type of activities that you want to do how you arrange the desk uh, depend on what type of work that we want or the student want. Uh, we can move the test before class each day or after the student finishing uh, learning process. Then move their desk between the lesson, carefully consider that the needs of the classroom. For a classroom discussion, may move the test uh, in a circle and then uh, for a small group activities and discussion, moving groups uh, for up to five person. If uh, in LMS, a learning management system, so we can conduct it in a room and then we can uh, choose for up to five the student and stay in virtual room. And then uh, testing the student and college uh, them to work individually, place the test apart with all the desks facing front of the room. If you are working uh, with the tutors or elementary students, so leave plenty of the floor space clear for activities. And because uh, here some students may need extra space, either because of physical or learning disability, accommodate the students as best as you can so here there is no dividing because all the participants have same
and then third mean uh, define the rooms into design areas for different activities whatever you are setting up the station for the first graders or arranging a room for the high schoolers make sure that each of area as the room has a consistent easily identifiable purpose and then uh, elementary school here that student might have station such as uh, art station or reading station reading corner yes match station or individual workstation uh, we can or they serve uh, some place that uh, depend on their subject and then all the students may not need uh, the station in the level uh, where the students show turn in work leave their backpacks pick up all our uh was that writing tools and then or their laptop maybe but we in lms for learning management system so we have a classroom or the other such as for the same uh, there are some tools that can be designed by the teacher Okay, so we can uh, most that take all the students' uh, project by using online system, and then put up signs and levels for each for the part of the class. That's for example, uh, we may uh, put a sign of up uh, offer that books have the same reading areas, and use the sign that submit a sign after finishing all. Then uh, May, uh, if all the participants have uh, finished, so we can give a review and then uh, take all the students in discussing forum. So from here, we can, knowing that the student needs as uh, what's that, as good plan in the next session. So uh, I think there are some steps in the conduction of how to organize the classroom better. Thank you very much and see you.